Hi, this is Jim Bergman with Imperial Tool. I'd like to show you tonight something that you've probably never ever seen before. And it, obviously if you're used to looking at the i-manifold, you'll see a couple new icons there. We have a wireless and wireless. And that's because we're using wireless low and high pressure probes. And you can see right here I've got the wireless low pressure probe attached. I've got it tied into the low side of the system with a low temperature measurement. That's just measuring off the T1 here. So I've got it plugged into T1. And I've got T1 on the high pressure probe plugged in, connected onto the liquid line down there, and connected to the high side. So we're actually measuring the suction pressure and the high side pressure wirelessly. Got the manifold just hanging over here, the hoses are hanging off of it, because the probes do talk back to the manifold. But you can see here, right now, wirelessly I'm measuring my capacity. I'm doing 3.07 tons of cooling, 36,000 BTUs. And I've got my wireless high and wireless low pressure probe. If I tap this, it'll pop up the manifold and I can go back to I-manifold on that probe. And you can see there that my uh, suction pressure went back down and tanked at the bottom. And if I tap it again right here, it'll go down to the bottom back to, back to the wireless probe 3. And it's going to go right back to the, uh, to the low pressure probe and do the reading. So I can also look at this through a list view. And I think this is probably the most powerful view, so I'll swipe this to the side here. We're going to go into wireless probes, and you can see all the wireless probes are in, but some of you guys haven't noticed yet that you can tap that and actually open those up and see what the probes are reading. So you can see right here now I've got my uh, supply, return air wet bulb dry bulb, supplier wet bulb dry bulb, my low pressure, my high pressure, and over here my superheat and my subcooling right on my, uh, off my wireless probes. So if I had 12 of these in a list, I could simply scroll up or down on the list and look at um, all 12 low pressure probes and you know 12, 12 box superheats if I needed to on a rack system. Very, very cool technology. Super simple to use. As soon as you power it on, it's ready to go. Go back to the I-manifold here, and I'll just show you in a uh, real quickly here how this works. So if, I, if I'm in the performance section, I can actually swipe through. There's probe one which is my return air wet bulb dry bulb, probe 2, which is my supply air, probe 3, which is my low pressure, suction line temperature, and superheat, and there's my saturation temperature for that probe. Flip over again, there's my high pressure, my liquid line temperature, and my subcooling, and saturation temperature there for that probe. So whenever you have the wireless lit here, that means that it's reading saturation temperature and superheat off the probe and calculating everything that way. Swipe again, and I'm back to my actual line temperatures. In this case, they're just hooked up to the I-manifold sitting there in the airstream, so there's uh, you know, nothing, uh, nothing making any measurements there to speak of. And then back to my airside measurements and targets, and finally back to performance. So super simple to use. Uh, I think you guys are really, really like these low-pressure probes. Uh, they're, uh, they're, they're really... Uh, expand the capability of the AI manifold and allow you to do some really cool things like uh, if this was a rooftop unit I could easily put the panel back on there and not affect airflow through the condenser so that's a, a very useful feature when you when you have these probes like this and you can simply uh, tie them back in close the doors and see what things are doing um, and even you know watch it remotely from a distance because these wireless probes with have very good range and with a repeater you can extend the range as far as you'd ever want to go so that's just a quick overview of the wireless probes. Thought you guys would really like to see this. Uh, sorry again for the uh, shaky video. I shot it by hand with my iPhone, but uh, you know I thought I'd quickly uh, give you guys an idea of what we could do. Uh, these are shipping this week, and I really uh, thought you guys would like to see them. So this is Jim Bergman with Imperial Tool. Thanks a lot for watching.